Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to the Summer of Carnage right here on the Venom Vlog. And today we are going to do a quick review of Absolute Carnage Immortal Hulk. This is the only Absolute Carnage tie-in that came out this week, thank goodness, because I am like, I was starting to get really far behind on these. Um, and there's not much to say about this one because I don't want to spoil much, but I mean, I, I kind of don't have a choice. There's not really much to talk about here. And I don't mean that in like a bad way. Uh, so we'll get into it here in a second. But before we do, and before we get into spoilers, um, I do want to give away digital code. Boom, right there. Uh, first person to put that code in obviously gets the comic. If you get it, let me know what your review is down below. And if you've read this comic, let me know your thoughts down below as well so without further ado al ewing wrote this uh, al ewing is the writer of immortal hulk which a lot of you recommended that i read uh, along with nick spencer's spider-man and i did pick up the digital copies of the trade paperbacks i have the first three volumes of immortal hulk i've read the first two so far haven't had time to read the third one yet and i think a fourth one will probably be coming very soon uh, so i'll probably read three and four together but i've been liking it it's a slow burn um, so if you're not reading that and you're just getting this and you're just been reading the Venom stuff, you're probably gonna, I don't know if you'll like this or not. That's why I want to hear your thoughts because this is a very slow burn. It's, you know, almost on page one, what's happening. So it's not really clever in the sense that there's like the reveal at the end is big. Um, cause you kind of get it. You kind of know what's happening. At least I did. I like page one. I'm like, Oh, I know what's happening. He's talking to the symbiote. Uh, and then by the time you get to the end, they reveal it's a symbiote. Um, but I do like the that how it's set up, and I do like that it follows the the pacing and the tone of the Immortal Hulk comic, which makes sense because it's the same writer of Immortal Hulk, and it's kind of a Mortal Hulk issue, even though it ties into Absolute Carnage. But they do give Bruce Banner a purpose, like they give the Hulk a purpose in this. It ties him into Absolute Carnage in a way that I didn't expect or didn't see coming. So uh, this series or this issue, I should say, was um, you know the Hulk, and he's like sitting in a room. It's all black, and he's talking to someone. Obviously, it's a symbiote. And then as he goes through, Joe comes out, you know, the other Hulk personality and uh, he comes out, but he's not in Hulk form. And he's kind of like, what's up with this? Why am I in this puny form? And then you have like Hulk Hulk come out. Um, and then you have like this other Hulk come out, the one that, you know, claims to be smarter than everyone. And he's like, look, Banner, what you're doing is wrong. Don't talk to this thing. And he's like, well, we're going to have a vote. So Banner's like, who's all in on letting this symbiote take over us? And that's kind of what the book is. It's like this conversation about that. But it's like, it's one of those things where I'm like, yeah, this could have been done in like four pages, maybe five pages. Would it have been as interesting? No, probably not. I mean, that's kind of Al Ewing's thing is he does this slow dissection. It's very character driven. Um, it's very uh, dialogue driven and stuff like what he's doing with the Hulk book. If that's not your cup of tea, you may not like this book. You may not find a point in this tie in. But what I do like that Al did was they reveal that Hulk is the one who, f who I guess, alerts or finds a way to alert the authorities on that giant uh, pile of dead bodies. Um, that's one of the things I think rocks on news or someone covers it. Uh, but there's like that big uh, that we found in, I think it was issue one or two of absolute carnage. They found on the news. I think it was issue one. They found on the news, all those dead bodies. And they were like, Oh, Thunderbolt Ross's body. They say, like, oh, we found the bodies of Thunderbolt Ross. We found the body of uh, um, Angel Fortunato, you know, and, uh, and a couple other characters that have had symbiotes attached to them. But then yet in this one, General Ross's body is missing. And I can't remember if the, if like when I'm like reading this, I'm like, it's not clear if he went missing after that uh, initial news report. Or if he, well, like, or, I don't know, it's hard to say. Or maybe Hulk, you know, Hulk didn't take him. He was, like, looking for him. So it shows Hulk arrive, and it shows, like, that Betty Brandt, or, Bet yeah, Betty and, uh, not Betty Brandt, but uh, Betty um, and uh, Ross, I should say, Betty Ross, and uh, uh, his friends, they're all back in California, which is where the main book is kind of taking place right now. They're in a hotel. And so now it's Bruce coming to New York. And he found these bodies, the authorities, you know, got alerted somehow. And, uh, and then they, you know, all the news came and descended on it, but they report in this one that, uh, that, uh, the Thunderbolt's body was missing or gone. Uh, so yeah, it, it, so it's hard to say. I'm like, so I guess it was there and they reported that first. And then now someone came and took the body. Uh, so, or the body got up and left. Maybe that's what it is because they hint at that when hoaxes die, they don't really die. Uh, and that's the big thing. That's the big uh, point of a lot of this was Hulk's like, I've died before. Bruce Banner's like, I've died before. Uh, my friends have died before. And uh, they're all still kind of alive. And some of them are recuperating right now from the last time they died, but they'll be back. So I think Thunderbolts Ross got up and walked out of that pile of dead bodies. And we got to find them before Carnage does. And, uh, and that's when, you know, it leads... Bruce Banner to talk to Spider-Man. And there's a really great conversation between the two uh, that I really liked. And it's Bruce Banner doing his homework. 
tell me all about the symbiote. And it's everything. So all of this, like when the Hulks and Bruce Banner are talking to the symbiote, all of that's happening right at, at the end of issue three of Absolute Carnage. Everything else in this is the events leading up to it. So it's it's really well paced. It's really well done. Even though it's kind of slow, it's still really interesting. And I found myself really enjoying it. And they talk about some events that happened in like, uh, you know, Mortal Hulk number seven with the Avengers coming in and Captain America being like, hey, I'm sorry, that wasn't our finest hour, us trying to take you down. And it shows some of that. But it also shows, you know, like Bruce Banner understanding in a way the symbiote. He's like, I get what you want. I know why you want it. You want our strength. You want us to, def you want to defeat Carnage. We get that. Carnage is a major threat right now. So we're going to have a vote. And all the personalities do vote. And uh majority of them say, okay, let the symbiote in. But the one Hulk, like the, the other Hulk that is saying it's a bad idea, he obviously is not on board with this. So he's like, you know, I'm out. You get Bury me in your subconscious. I don't want to have anything to do with this. Don't use my strength at all. And they're like, okay, fine, you're out. So it's Bruce, Joe, and Hulk. We're all three in. Majority rules. So the book ends and they become fully transformed and they accept the symbiote bonding with them. So that's basically what the book is. It's a whole issue where it's just Bruce Banner accepting the, you know, the unity between him and the symbiote. And that's all the book is. It's it's not super exciting. It's not action packed. Although there's some interesting moments in it, like flashback scenes stuff. Um, but overall, it's just a nice slow burn single issue that kind of explains that Bruce has kind of with the Hulk been involved in this for a little while, at least you know with the bodies being found and up until now him looking for General Ross. So it shows why he's involved in all this, how he got involved in all this, how he got away from California to get involved. And so it's cool. I guess Al Ewing was like, oh, let's put some thought into this and let's make a, a, a valid reason for him to leave where his friends are and to you know get into this. And I also like the uh, the approach they do at the beginning, which is something he does in the main book, where one of his personalities, a Hulks, will leave a note for Bruce. So he's like, hey, you you haven't been around for two days. Here's you know, here's an update on notes. And he's like, and don't bother the lady next door and don't feed, you know, your friends are in the bathroom healing. Don't mess with them. You're too needy sometimes. He's like too needy. And uh, it's pretty fun. I like that. And I think Al Ewing does a really good job at that. I think that's why that book sells so well and does so well. And so many people talk about it. And so many of you recommend it to me is because of the strength he has and the understanding he has of this character and this new direction he's going in. I even like some of the stuff they talk about in here where they're like, Carnage is like the cosmic devil and Hulk's like, cosmic devil you don't say huh because obviously the whole cast ties to that now too so pretty interesting i can't wait to see more anyway that's it for this video let me know what your thoughts are down below and again if you got the digital code let me know what your reviews in the comments below we'll continue our conversation down there thanks so much for watching the show as always like subscribe all that fun stuff and we will have more videos coming up i figure since there's only one carnage book out this week if i have time this week i'm working all weekend so i don't know if i'll have time but if i have time between now and next wednesday uh, i will do more venom episodes but what they'll focus on is they'll probably be um axis uh, which is a comic book that came out a while ago this way we can dig into some old you know carnage stories as we're winding down because i think we only have like 10 issues left of this whole absolute carnage crossover and uh, and that'll put us like around 235 240 episodes and we'll still have 10 episodes to complete the season with so uh, unless movie news drops and stuff uh, i will you know still go back and read old comic books and and talk about them so access will be next we we'll might do three episodes for access because there was the main access book which is not a lot to talk about there as far as carnage goes but we'll still talk about it um and maybe it'll just be a short episode uh, but then uh, there's also an Axis mini series of Carnage that we'll talk about. And then there was the Nova Aftermath to Axis that we'll talk about. So those three will probably be the next uh, Carnage videos we make, unless some movie news comes out as well. So again, that's all for today. Thank you for watching the video. As always, I'll see you in the future. Peace.